Delaney and welcome to my... Hey everyone, it's Delaney and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm seriously so excited that you decided to come stop by and hang out here at my channel. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I so appreciate it. I'm super annoyed right now because I have a neighbor who is an ex-mechanic who loves to work on cars, which I think it's great to have a hobby. Hello, I have a hobby right here. But he is revving his engine over and over and over again, which makes filming in your house quite interesting. So if that starts up in the background, I do apologize. But I try to be the nice neighbor. I try, I try, I try. I try to mind my own business, but it's driving me crazy. So yes, I am doing a first impression of the new Pure Cosmetics Foundation. I'm really excited to try it out, and I feel like it's been quite a while since I've done a first impression of a foundation because, you guys, I'm trying to rein in the shopping habit a little bit. So if you want to see my first impression, then uh, just keep on watching. Um, uh, I look a little different than I did a second ago. That's because I forgot to ask my question of the day, you guys. You thought I was going to skip it, didn't you? So today's question of the day is, what is your go-to sunscreen for under makeup? Please let us know what your go-to SPF is because I know I, I know I could use some recommendations. So leave that down in the comment section. And now let's dive on into today's video. I did prep my skin a little bit with the Photo Focus Matte Stick Primer. I also picked up a Pure Cosmetics Primer because I really have always wanted to try it out. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I shared this on Instagram for Cinco de Mayo. They had a deal where you could get their like mini travel sizes for only $5. So I picked up a travel size of their no filter blurring primer and then I got two different shades which I thought this was a good way to test out the foundation to see if I like it because I have so many foundations I really don't need full size and I'm actually really glad I did the mini because I'm not sure how I did with my color selection. So before I tell you about the foundation, let's apply the primer so it can soak in a little bit. It says you can actually add this primer to your foundation for an instant boost of radiance and an all over healthy glow. So I'm definitely glad I applied a little bit of matte primer since sometimes me and glow don't mix, but I can tell you guys something that has happened. I don't know if it's my age, the weather we're having here in the Midwest, but I have been so much less oily. Honestly, like by the end of the day, I'm like, wow, whose skin is this? I'm wondering if that'll stay the same as the weather changes and it gets warmer, but I'm, I'm not mad about it right now. I'm quite happy about it, actually. It's kind of nice just having, like, normal skin. I do like the way this primer feels, though. It feels very light. It's creamy. It's got a nice slip to it where your skin feels really, really smooth. It definitely adds a little radiance. I see it more on my fingers then I do my face. The full size of the no filter primer is $33. It does come actually in a dropper in the full size, which I love. I love a dropper product. Anybody else? It's one of my favorites. I don't know. It just feels extra. And uh, you know me, I like to be extra. $33 for a full size primer is a little pricey. It's not crazy. I will say Pure Cosmetics has very good ingredients. So I feel like their products are a little bit pricey, but you do get nice ingredients. And I've been really impressed with a lot of their products that I have tried. Now let's talk about these little babies. <laughs> this is their new 4-in-1 foundation. It says, love your selfie, which, uh, come on, who doesn't love to love their selfie? They have so many shades. They have 100 shades. That's actually what made me decide to try this. I saw this on Nima Tang's channel. I love her, and I was, would she, I mean, but hold up. It's not fair because literally every foundation looks good on her. Her skin is so beautiful. It's so smooth. She sucked me in. I had to try this. Seriously cannot believe there's a hundred shades. They did the shades justice. There's been some other big launches with a bunch of colors and there's so many unwearable shades. They're just odd. The undertones are weird. No one can wear them. And what's the point if you have a million shades but people can only wear a half of them or a quarter of them. This one, it really looks like they've done a really good job of hitting all the undertones. 100 is overwhelming though. So it's definitely overwhelming. I think that might actually steer some people away because they're like, oh my gosh, how will I ever find my shade? They do have a color match system that's pretty helpful where you can pick foundations you already wear and they recommend. They've got pictures of actual people and the shades. So it definitely helped. 
Full size, these are $36. You do get 1.2 fluid ounces, which is actually pretty good. It's a little bit more than a lot of foundations. So the price for that is pretty good. I actually feel like the primer should be a little bit cheaper than it is since the primer is $33 and the foundation is $36. Now this claims to be a foundation and concealer. This is the only thing I don't like. In one way, let me say this, in one way I do like foundation concealers when they're titled together because to me that means you're going to get good coverage and I love good coverage. One of my favorite things to do is to use concealer to brighten under the eyes and the middle of my face. I'm not going to buy two $30 products to be able to do my regular shade and my brightening shade. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. Since it was only $5, I did pick up the color I think will be my foundation and the color that I think will be just my con my concealer brightening color, but would I buy two full size to do that? Absolutely not. It's supposed to be an all-in-one, long wear, skincare infused foundation concealer that instantly masks and blurs. It's got some really good ingredients in here. It's got green tea, ginseng, vitamin B. Something super cool about the full size that I forgot to tell you is if you open up the package, there is a doe foot applicator, but you can also use it as a pump. I'm like, that is such a cool idea. I'm gonna stick to my current favorite way to apply foundations, which is to use a brush to buff it out and then to pat over top with a sponge. I think I did the right color match. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. This does look pretty full coverage just from the swatches, so I don't wanna go too overboard. Oh, this color match is really good. Okay, I'm really happy. I was a little nervous. I thought it looked a little light in the package. That might be one of the best matches I've had in a really long time. That buffs out extremely nicely. I'm not, I am using a padding motion, but I'm not getting brush strokes. My texture and my pores are definitely still visible though. That looks extremely skin-like though, you guys. I'm really impressed where if I did not wear any other makeup, that would honestly look like my skin, but like I have really perfectly colored, pigmented, no redness, no patchiness kind of skin. Let's try, I'm gonna try more of a dragging motion. Definitely padding gives you more coverage, but I am not getting brush strokes from this, which is super impressive. I don't even need to pat this out. There are so many foundations I use that I need to pat out after I apply with a brush but I do not need to pat this out. I just am to kind of work it into the skin and just make it look extra flawless. I am really impressed with this. I mean, this just looks exactly like bare, flawless skin. Wow, okay, so impressed. Now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade under the eyes. Definitely need that, I'm looking pretty darn dark under here. This is also how I've been applying concealer lately is with a brush. I've really been back on the brush thing. I was all about beauty sponges there for a long while and now I'm back on brushes. I feel like a person who's wearing foundation for the first time could grab this foundation and use it and not struggle at all. So that I am um, going to pat out with a sponge pretty good. I definitely feel like this type of bristle was leaving a little bit more streakiness than the Japanese bristle. Here is a super duper close up of the skin. Okay guys, what are my final thoughts on this first impression of the new Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation? It's perfection, I love it. Honestly, this is the most impressed I've been in a foundation in a super long time. I must say, if you were similar to me, LG3 is literally the most perfect exact, exact shade I could ever ask for. Would I buy this for a concealer? No, I would just use a concealer, but I must say, everything is staying put really, really well. I'm getting no bunching, no creasing. I don't look cakey, my skin feels really light, everything blended out perfectly. It's such an effortless, beautiful foundation. I'm so, so, so impressed. Like far more impressed than I thought I would be. Very impressed and now I wanna buy it, but I cannot. But I want to. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love, love, love for you to join the Lash Family. Really, I would. If you are new here, I upload two new videos every single week. Wednesdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Central, so make sure you stick around so you don't miss out on any fun content. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I love connecting with you guys on there, sharing parts of my life with you, and also doing polls to get your guys' feedback on the videos you want to see. If you don't have Instagram, 
I understand it's not for everybody, then just make sure you are checking the community tab here on my channel because I also put polls on there to try to connect with you guys and get your feedback on what you want to see here on my channel. But before I close out this video, we have to do my shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is Bunny Molly XXX. She has been a member of the Lash Fam for quite a while now. I am so glad she's here. She commented on my recent video of how I clean my makeup brushes and gave me a few different products that she uses that I'll definitely look into. So Bunny, thank you so much for the advice and the comment. Thank you even more for being a member of the Lash Fam. I'm seriously so glad that you are here. Thank you so much. You guys, that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.